Hello and welcome to this video guide about all things volumetric fog in Unreal Engine, where we will look at how we can bring our scene from this to this. Today we are going to cover the basics of setting up fog in your scene, balancing out density and color depending on the lighting and mood, and we are also going to take a look at local volumetric fog actors and some very useful shaders and marketplace plugins or assets that you can use to push your scenes even further. There is something extremely haunting and captivating about heavy and dense fog like this. However, it can be challenging to ensure your image doesn't become flat and washed out with all the soft light from an overcast sky with fog on top. One great way to add contrast and hierarchy to your scene is to use localized volumetric fog. That essentially means that we can decide where we want our fog to be dense and where we don't want as much fog. Right out of the box, Unreal 5.3 provides us with one basic actor to place localized volumetric fog, but it only offers uniform density with a gradient and that often looks quite fake and flat as well. Once we start to dig deeper, we find ways to not only assign different density or color to our local volumetric fog, but also to add volumetric details by making use of different noise textures. We can even animate these textures and simulate the effect of rising mist, wind, or simply create fog that crawls around on the ground. And that's super cool and brings a lot of life and interest to our scenes. The first question I always ask myself is what time of day and what kind of weather do I want to portray with my lighting? For this scene I want to have a very dark, overcast sky sometime around the end of the day. Why? Well, I want the ambient light from the sky to be dark enough so we can still have believable impact from the street light and the car headlights without breaking PBR light values on the street lamps. Let's start with our sky setup. For a standalone environment like this, I still very much like the approach of adding a simple sky sphere and mapping an HDRI texture on it. This gives me all the control I need while being easy to work with and cheap for performance. A good solid sky is always nice to have, even if you are not going to see much of it in this specific scene. The steps are simple. I drag in the editor sky sphere scale it and set up a basic unlit sky material with simple controls for intensity and maybe color tint. I also enable is sky inside the material attributes. I pick an HDRI I like. For, for this example I'm gonna use the overcast soil map from Polyhaven and we are ready to go. I want to make sure I get the intensity and brightness right. That way my light sources will work well using physical PBR intensities. So I open up my HDR eye adaption view mode and bring up the sky brightness to around 800 nits. You can find basic guides for sky illuminance online for example. This Wikipedia page is a great start for some basic real world values. These in combination with proper EV100 exposure values make it relatively easy to get going on a scene like this. But yeah, at least that's the way I like to do it in my scenes. Every sky needs a skylight, so let's bring that in next. I simply set it to movable and enable real-time capture. Now we need a bit of directional light to give shape and volume to our scene. A nice trick for overcast settings is to make use of the sky atmosphere's mere scattering attribute to portray the heavy amount of water droplets in the foggy and overcast scene. This also gives us super soft shadows, so let's drop that into our scene as well. Something like this should work. With all this set, we are ready to go and set up our exposure using a simple unbound post-process volume. For a scene like this, values around 7.5, 7.8 or 8 at EV100 scale should work very well. That's what we have so far. And with all the basic light setups done, we are now ready to have some fun with volumetrics. Let's bring in an exponential height fog actor and enable volumetric fog. Boom! I want this to feel really thick and almost smothering, so I rise the fog density to something around 0.7. Nice. By default the volumetric fog has a white albedo, but this is a bit much for this scene, so I tint it down towards mid-grey to get some darks back. I want to have dense fog, but I don't necessarily want it to be as bright as the default values are. 
I'm not really introducing any colors to the fog for now. I prefer to set up a rather monochrome image first to get my values right before adding colors to the scene. From what we have right now, I feel like our skylight is a little bit too bright. So I take the artistic liberty to lower its intensity to make it work better with what I have in mind for this scene. And now comes the fun part. Remember what I said earlier about flat scenes with lots of fog? Let's take a look at how we can control where we want our fog to be dense to give a bit more interest to the scene. First off, let's look at the built-in way to do this inside of Unreal. Head over to Add Actor, Visual Effect, Local Height Fog. This spawns a sphere with volumetric controls into our scene. We can change its density, the height offset, and most importantly, the radial attenuation to get rid of this hard edge that's around the sphere. We can also give the fog a different color if we want to, let's say, add more fog impact from a specific colorful light in our scene. It's great that we got this in Unreal, but as you can see, the result is still very flat and almost uniform with just a bit of height fog fall off and not much else going on. But thankfully, we can do so much more than this with volume materials. We can get animated fog, have it build up around meshes by using distance fields and much more. As with all things Unreal, we could go down a very deep rabbit hole on this. I myself am not an expert in shaders, but with a bit of help from different tutorials available on the internet, it's relatively easy to come up with something decent. This one from Flipside 3D for example, covers all the basic steps about how to set up a material like this yourself. So if you're interested in how these shaders work, make sure to give it a look. Alternatively, if you want to make your life easier and if you're okay with spending a bit of money on tools like this, there are excellent blueprints and actors available on the marketplace that offer a wild variety of control and different looks for your local volumetric fog, like Ultra Volumetrics from the creator called BVG. Links to all these are in the description if you want to check it out. The way we add these localized volumetric materials to our scene is easy. We simply add a shape like a sphere and assign a material instance to it. And that's it. It's a good idea to make sure you disable cast shadows and disable collisions on these meshes. The fog really won't need it. If you go with a blueprint based asset, you can have all the controls nicely nested within the asset itself. If you decide to make your own material and learn how those work in the process, Having a material instance that you can tweak as you work with it would be a really good starting point. I use them to place fog in areas where I would like to get a little bit more detail or a little bit more fog or simply a little bit of movement. It comes down to tweaking the material, scaling the shapes, moving them around until you get a result that you like. For this scene here, I still feel I want to get a little bit darker in my shadows. So I go into post-processing volume and adjust the grading accordingly. We can now also introduce a bit of color variation to the image by grading the different brightness brackets or also introducing a bit of color to the fog itself. This is completely up to you and it's purely artistic. Um, depends on the direction that you want to go for in your scene and for your shots. But keep in mind, in the real world, almost all natural fog will be gray or white, so make these decisions carefully. Unless, of course, you want to come up with a nice stylized shot, or maybe your scene has magic in it, or chemicals of some sort, or there is a very, very deep red sunset, things like that. Using all these techniques and materials can already give us very nice results. But what if I told you that your fog could look even better? In reality, light will scatter through and bounce off of all the particles in the fog. This leads to objects and shape to get blurred out. Basically, the more distance the light has to travel through the fog, the blurrier and darker it gets. But the volumetric fog in Unreal doesn't really do that for us. We still see sharp edges and lines through the fog and we don't get much light scattering in it at all. I recently found this post-process shader called Screen Space Fog Scattering by Dmitri Karbukin on the marketplace and this aims to fix this by adding a simulation of light scattering inside the fog to the engine. It's totally and completely optional, you don't have to get this, but it can really help us if we want to go for that dreamy, heavy mood that we so often associate with foggy scenes. 
And that's about it for today. We set up our lighting for an exterior scene, added and tweaked volumetric fog, we placed localized volumetric fog shapes to further build up the contrast of our scene, and we also took a look at some great marketplace assets and tutorials. So that's it from me, have a great time and see you in the next one.